Right. So uh, what I want you to have is uh, either Oriolin, if you've got it, or lemon yellow, if you haven't. So identify your lemon yellow or your Oriolin. For the purposes of this enterprise, it doesn't matter which one you've got. Right, so um, I've got, I'm lucky I've got Oriole, right? Everybody got their, their lemon yellow or Oriole? Anybody need help? Anybody need help? Put your hand up, Rachel will come and help you. Right, the, other, the next color you want is Prussian blue which is a greeny blue. So you've got your lemon yellow, your Prussian blue, and you want a pinky red. So that's permanent rose, alizarin, uh, ruby red is, is purpley too. I am using permanent rose. Pardon? Alizarin crimson will do fine. Right, um, are, we, are we ready? Now the purpose of this exercise is to show you how to get a lot of color from just three colors. Now to some of you, this is, you could do it with your eyes closed, but uh, just bear with me and uh, let's work along for those people who've never had a brush in their hand before and don't know what life is like. Okay, so I want you to start at the top of your page Start with the lightest one first, start with the yellow. Make sure you are, any old piece of paper, yes, yeah. And don't forget to work your paint um, to, to release the gum Arabic. And then just paint a mark on your page. And rinse your brush thoroughly. Go to your red, your pink or whatever color you want to do, call it. Again, work the paint to release the gum Arabic. And make a mark beside it. Then rinse your brush thoroughly. And pick up your blue. And make a mark. Then rinse your brush thoroughly again. And lend me your ears. Right, so you've got your three marks. Don't, don't draw a box and fill it in, you know, make a mark with the brush. What I'm always saying to you, make a mark. Now, what we're going to do is pretty much what they do when they're printing, um, things like this. These are actually printer's ink, so they're not quite the same, but the basic principle is the same. If you look on your, um, cereal packets, you will sometimes see a little tab that's got blue, pink, yellow, and black. Now, those are the colors that the printing machines use to create the whole design. So they don't print this as a sort of straw colored brown and then with, with the uh, other things on it. They make three or four passes and the first pass is all the yellow. So everything that's going to have a bit of yellow behind it is printed with the yellow. Uh, and in this case, in three different tones. Then they go back and it, it passes over again. And everything that's going to need the red or a dark brown in it is uh, passed over with the red. And then finally, well, not finally, then the next pass will be with the blues because if you put the blue 
on top of the red and the yellow in the right proportions, you get a sort of brownie color, gray brown, depending on how it's done. And then finally, where you want to define things, you take the black and that goes on at the very end. So to print that, according to this, they have used 12 passes to print that cover. My honest, honest, they don't do one to type. As, uh, fairly obvious that, but the principle is the same. You put down one color, you put down another color, and then another color on top, and eventually you get all the colors that you need. So out of three colors, they get the vari variegated colors that you get on a cereal packet. So let's see what happens. You've got your yellow mixed on your, on your pad. So take a bit of the pink that you got mixed on your pad, mix it into the yellow, and put that between the red and the yellow. And you can see what you've got there is a sort of orange. Agreed? Now the type of orange you get will depend on which yellow and which red you use. I opted for these because, uh, let's have a change from ultramarine. <laughs> so we have Prussian blue, right? Okay. Rinse your brush thoroughly. Now you're going to mix the red, so you'll need to have some clean red out. So you pick up some red, clean your brush, pick up some blue and mix it in with the red. Now, Prussian blue is a beast. And if you put in too much Prussian blue, you're going to get just a blue. So you have to balance the proportion of red that you put in. Take as much red as you need to do something violent to that, um, that Prussian blue, and you get a sort of purple. And the more water that's in it, the paler the purple will be. Right, rinse your brush thoroughly. Pick up some yellow. Don't go into the yellow that you mixed to make orange. Pick up some yellow. Rinse your brush. Pick up a little bit of blue. You know, show the brush where the blue is because Prussian is such a strong color. And add a little touch of that two-year yellow. And you'll have a green. And look how bright that green is. It's a lovely green. Beautiful green, isn't it? Right? Now finally, rinse your brush thoroughly, dry it out. Take your purple, which is red and blue, add it to your orange, which is red and yellow. And what you've got is a sort of brown. So out of three colors, we've got um, another four. And mix the yellow, red, and blue together. <coughs> yes, and you get a sort of brown. If you wanted to make that darker, you, what would you do? How do you make things darker? More pigment, well done that, somebody learned the lesson. More pigment, less water. And because Prussian is such a beast, um, that's gonna get it very dark very quickly. The other two are more gentle. But that gives you quite a dark color. That's not as dark as I want it, but you know. Again, more pigment. The battle with, if you're using a lizard, you'll have a better chance with the, with the blue.
That's quite, I can get it quite dark. So you see, if you go out sketching, you don't need to take a whole box of colors with you. If you just take three colors and you brush in some water, you can paint anything because those three colors will give you everything. The paper is white, will give you the white. The three colors will give you another four colors, depending on how you mix them. And you can vary the tone of those mixes. You can make the orange more orangey or, the, or less orangey. You can make uh, the green much deeper and darker if you want to by adding more blue, less lemon. So you, the balance of the colors that you mix together are going to make a difference to the colors that you get. This is a good exercise to try at home. Um, you can use those three colors again or pick another three colors. Um, Ultramarine, why not? <laughs> uh, maybe a golden yellow, the uh, Indian yellow. Maybe add cadmium red. Now, careful with cadmium because it's a. No, we won't go into that, but yeah. <laughs> life gets too complicated to start thinking about. So, basically, what happens is that you can make all the colors that you want out of just three colors. So, if you reduce your palette like that and don't aim to match the color that you see, but to create something which is in the same color range, then your picture will have integrity. It will belong together. Whereas if you look at it and say, I haven't got that green, how do I make that green? Not important. The green you make must sit happily with the other colors you've got on your page. The way to achieve that is to use color mixing like this, one with another. End of lesson.